Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. This is part two of things you can do this summer, but the alone edition or the no friends edition. The last time I did a video about things you can do with your friends, some of the things I talked about you can also do alone. Um, but this time I'm gonna focus on things you can do alone. But I mean, technically everything you can do alone, you can also do with friends. So I guess this is a video for everyone, but especially my people without friends. First idea is to make DIY baby tees. And I've already bought the materials to do that because I really want to. You just need a small t-shirt. I got mine from the kit section. So it fits really tight and it's cropped. And then you can buy either like those stickers that you can put on clothes or um, just fabric paint. I couldn't find those stickers unfortunately, so I'm just gonna paint on my t-shirt. The next idea is something I saw on TikTok and it was such a cute idea and so creative. I don't know if this person came up with the idea, but it was a really good idea. And it's, I don't know how to call it, but it's kind of like a color collecting walk. So basically how it works, you have a carton. I think it's in the video, it's like an egg carton, like the one where you, the one you buy eggs in. Okay, so this is what I mean. Like here you usually put the eggs inside, but for this idea, you put a color in each of these holes. And then you go on a walk and you collect things in that color and then you put it in the carton. The goal of the walk is basically to collect the thing in every color so your box is, or your carton is full at the end. I think that's just a really fun way to make going on a walk more interesting. That would probably also be really fun if you have kids or younger siblings and they don't want to go on a hike or a walk with you and then you just like create this color game for them. But I think that would be a lot of fun, especially because you have a lot of pretty things at the end. It's like kind of a reward. It's like a reward. The next thing I thought about today, and I really wanted to include it in this video because I don't know, it's such a cute idea. I'm so proud of myself that I had this idea. A lot of people also had this idea probably as well, but, but yeah, um, and it's to like write little notes or quotes and or print them out you can find a lot of them on pinterest and then put them somewhere random in public like the street lamp or a wall or somewhere at the sidewalk or at the door in front of a shop like just a cute quote that will maybe make someone stay or make someone smile or make someone feel seen or appreciated i'm gonna blend in some of the quotes i would choose maybe I'm so excited to try out this next idea and it's puppy yoga. Puppies are the cutest thing ever and connecting that with yoga is so random but also sounds so fun. Like imagine doing yoga with puppies. I don't know, I think that would make me so happy. I want to try it. I have no idea how it works. I don't know where I can do it but I want to find out and I want to try it. Go to a planetarium. I did that last year on my birthday with my friends, but you can actually do it alone as well. I remember I wanted to do it alone, but I forgot. Um, like after I went on my birthday, I was so like, I loved it. So I wanted to do it again, but I just kind of forgot. And also it feels weird doing things like that alone, like going to the movies alone or going to the planetarium alone. I don't know, I feel like People are thinking that it's weird that I'm going there alone, even though like nobody cares um, and it's nobody's business. When I saw this next tip somewhere on TikTok, I thought this was perfect for me because I love daydreaming. I do it all the time. I love listening to film music and like film soundtracks and I always have a messy room. So in this video I saw on TikTok, this person was talking about how you can like clean your room by pretending you're a fictional character like for example you pretend you're working in a castle and then you listen to royal music and then you put on a dress and then you clean your room and pretend you're like cleaning a castle and there's even like playlists on youtube you can look up for like tavern music or like princess core royal core music or mermaid core music. I'm sure you'll find the perfect music for it on YouTube. And I think that would kind of transform like something that you usually don't want to do, like cleaning your room into a fun activity. And maybe like that your room won't look messy anymore and cleaning will become a fun activity. Mm -hmm. 
learn how to do your own nails i ordered a nail set and it's actually pretty good i'm still figuring out how to do my nails they're not done right now so don't look at them i went to the nail salon once and it's expensive and i don't want to pay for it all the time so i didn't do it again and i still want my nails to look pretty sometimes and doing your own nails is way cheaper so maybe you can try that as well i also saw a few videos on tiktok explaining how to do it Try out new hairstyles! If you've watched a few of my last video, you've seen that I wore a few different hairstyles and that's because I'm trying a lot of things right now. And I also created a Pinterest board with like hairstyles I want to try and I think your hair, the way your hair looks, has so much impact on like your whole appearance and outfit. And a hairstyle can make an outfit like 100 times better, so I really want to try new things. The next idea is to start a diary. I used to have several diaries as a child and reading them now is so funny to me because the way I thought as a child was so different but it's also like inspiring to see how my 10 year old self thought and was seeing things. And I think the same thing would happen like if I read my diary in 10 years, like the diary from now in 10 years. So yeah, that's why I kind of want to force myself to write more in my diary. Do a puzzle. I liked doing puzzles as a child and then it became kind of boring and now I like it again because it's just really like relaxing and not that hard but at the same time you're still doing something. Learn how to crochet your own clothes even if you're a total beginner. Like everyone can do it there's a lot of tutorials on youtube and tiktok as well i started as a total beginner like some of the tutorials are really easy just start with a really simple one for example i made this top like i think two years ago but this was so easy i don't know which tutorial it was but it was something on youtube how cool is it if you can wear clothes that you made I've been seeing a lot of videos on TikTok lately about people making their own scrapbook or a photo book about their teen years. I also want to do that because sometimes I feel like my teenage years weren't that exciting, especially if I see like people on social media post about this stuff. But actually it was exciting. There were a lot of fun things and I experienced a lot, but sometimes when I compare my my life to others, I feel like I haven't done as much as I should have. If you've been watching one of my first videos on this channel, you know that I made a flower crown in one of my DIY videos. Wow, that was such a long time ago. It feels like forever. But anyway, uh, you can make a flower crown. You can watch the video to know how it works. Or you just like collect flowers and then put them together in a crown. And yeah, and you can also take cute pictures with it. I'm actually a little bit in a hurry, that's why I'm trying to talk a little faster now or like get the... Don't talk as much, like just say the ideas. The next idea is to buy a plant or a flower with a flower pot and then you can paint a flower pot. I did that in one of my DIY videos as well, I think. You can bake cookies. I always forget how like easy it is to bake cookies sometimes. You can do them in a heart shape, for example, and make these cute Pinterest cookies that I've seen everywhere. Make new Spotify playlists for different moods. I only downloaded Spotify this year. I lived most of my life without Spotify, but now I have it. And I'm not gonna lie, it put a lot of pressure on me at first to create playlists because I thought, okay, what if people like see what kind of playlists I make and then they think I'm cringe or my music taste is bad, but I don't care about it anymore. Making playlists is fun. And if you can't come up with names, just search for Spotify playlist names on Pinterest and you'll get some inspo. Create a Pinterest board with your dream house. Like, what would your dream house look like? What would the outside look like? What would the inside look like? What would your bedroom look like? What would the kitchen look like? The bathroom, just everything. If you want to post more on Instagram but you don't have any ideas what to post, then try to create some Pinterest pictures. I have a whole folder of pictures I want to recreate because I think they look cool. If you want to check out my Pinterest, it's linked in my bio. 
if you like playing with lego then you should buy a cool new lego set i've seen a lot of people buy these like flowers like lego flowers and i kind of want to do that i think that would also be cute like a date idea if you have someone to date upcycle your clothes if you don't want to buy them new you can upcycle them and there's a lot of videos on TikTok and YouTube as well about this whole upcycling topic and how to do it and sometimes it's really easy. You don't need to know how to sew. Film video diaries. I did that for the past few months about the topic that I may be talking about soon. Maybe I will put all of these video diaries into a big video but it's a very personal topic so I'm not sure yet but by filming these videos like these video diaries i've seen how much i've grown how much i've changed and it's like so amazing to look back and realize how different i am now and how much i've healed from from certain things but you don't have to do the video diaries about something like really deep you can just like talk into the camera a few seconds every day and then put all of these little clips into a big video And the last idea for today is to make a recipe book. I think my mom made one for me a few years ago. She only wrote like two recipes in it because she told me I should use it to put my recipes inside of it. I think I haven't done that yet, but I want to do it. That's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you got some inspiration. If you have more ideas, put them in the comments. I hope to see my next video. I hope you have a great summer. Bye. When we wake birds and see the sun side by side our fears are done